Today, I'm going to explain you what are the capabilities made available to Isher through the Isher Node APIs. First of all, who is the Isher? The Isher is a source of information for any identity. The Isher Node works as a Docker container that can be run and lets you self host your own server. And from this server, it exposes a set of API needed to run an issuer. It's very important for it to be self-hosted in order for you not to give up control on your keys and on the credential and the data that you're going to issue and create. So now let's go through the main APIs made available. The first one is an API to create the private key for the issuer. So basically, the private key is the thing that allows you to control your identity and to authenticate as an issuer. And from this private key, there's like a DID, which is a public and unique identifier that is only associated with you as an issuer. The second API exposed through the issuer node API is the possibility to create credential. So basically, it means filling up a credential with data and with the identifier of the user that is going to receive a credential. So if we think about a driver license, this would be filled up with the name of the receiver, the date of birth of the receiver, the class of driver license of the receiver, and of course, its identifier. So this is issue credential. The third API allows an issuer to store this credential inside the database such that it can be retrieved and fetched at a later point in time. The third API allows an issuer to speak with users' wallet and to share credential with them. And this can be shared in a form of a QR code or, for example, via an hyperlink. And the fifth API is the one that revokes claim. So basically, the action of revoking means basically cancelling the functionality of a credential and this happened speaking with the blockchain to revoke a credential the issuer needs to make a transaction to the blockchain that will update their state and in this state this information of a credential being revoked will be made available to the public so that's why we need a blockchain to do that so this were the main functionality of the issuer. And as you can see, through the issuer node API, an issuer can manage the whole life cycle of a credential. 